Today, we're doing lamb loin chops, right? Usually I do lamb chops, you know, with the bone hanging up at the top. Look, I'm gonna expose you guys to something a little bit different. These right here is fire, and guess what, folks? It's almost Easter. As you guys can see, these are the ingredients, and as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Okay, so look, this is what I'm gonna do right now. This will be a great time for me to go ahead and preheat my oven. We wanna preheat it to 375 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit bake, 375 and then start. Now, I'm gonna take this time to say, listen, if you guys like great recipes like this and you wanna see other talented chefs like myself, you know, uh, Pat Neely, Aaron McCargo, Chef Laureus, uh, who else? We got Kenneth Temple and other great chefs. Listen, I want you guys to go by and check out the Grilling TV Network. Listen, all you gotta do is go to YouTube, put that in the search bar, go there, subscribe, and just watch. Now, with that being said, check it out. Look, you see I had all the ingredients already pre-measured out everywhere, right? I started with like about five tablespoons, you know what I mean, of uh, oil, right? Then I have another one that's separate. I'm gonna set this off to the side. And the reason I'm using five, it depends on if you guys are using lamb loin or you're using uh, lamb chops, right? So I'm gonna start here. I'm just gonna pour mm, about two thirds of it in here. Really, this is almost like a dump and go from here on out, right? So just add all of my rest of my ingredients in here like this. And then when it comes to the cloves, smash them a little bit and just drop them in here. You just want to open them up and let some of this flavor get inside of here also. Okay, so look, you just see me cut down my herbs, right? Now, I'm gonna take my whisk and just whisk this together. This right here makes like a, I don't know, the consistency is almost like being a paste. But remember, we smashed the garlic, right? And this is what you wanna come up with. You wanna come up, look, that right there, your brain should be working, telling you that's a lot of flavor. You know, we used in fresh herbs too. And that right there is fire. Now, you wanna take these, right? And I'm just gonna take them and kind of like just mash them a little bit inside of here. And I'm gonna leave them in there, it's gonna get crowded. You guys can do it on a big one, a big pan. I could do it on my sheet pan right here, but the reason I won't, I don't want to lose none of it, right? I wanna have as much as possible, you know? So we just keep it like this. Cause what we are gonna do is we are gonna set this up and this, if I hadn't said already, this is our little marinade station, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and marinate, marinate these for about an hour. You know what I mean? You can do 30 minutes to an hour, or you can put them in the refrigerator and do them overnight, however you want to. But the key is, once you take them out the refrigerator, you want to let them come up to room temperature. Okay, so here you guys can take a look. You see that? All of them are coated. Mm, I can taste these already. Then you don't want to get yourself some saran wrap. Look, we're not putting them in the refrigerator. I'm just putting this over the top. Keep that air out of there because we don't want them to start looking funny, right? Just close them. I'm going to set these to the side and I'm going to let mine marinate and, you know, soak it, all that goodness in for about one hour. Really what I want to tell you guys, you guys always see me having, you know, my olive oil bottles, my oil bottles like this, right? If you want to know what's inside of this, these are the level up. These are the branch of vine products right here. Look, you guys can see, what does that say? Scallion, right? This is scallion infused olive oil. This one right here, branch and vine. This is the garlic. And then right here in the back, check it out. I got that basil. Now, when you're doing, you know, you're making lamb chops, pork chops, steaks, you wanna know the oil that I start off with? That's this right here. So listen, you know, with Easter coming, you guys got your family over there, you know what I mean? And uh, you're preparing your meal. These are the things that I do to just like, you're always looking at a way to like level up to level up, right? So listen, if you're ready to turn that page, these are the products that I use. And as you guys can see, it's down in the description box below and it's on the screen. It's been one hour. I'm gonna go ahead and take my saran wrap off. Now we got great flavor in here, All right? Take my olive oil, I'm gonna go ahead and just splash this here. We're gonna bring our oil up to temp. Okay, so remember I said we wanna heat up our oil, right? I started off nice and slow, get the oil hot. Then I cranked it up to a medium high flame. You know what I mean? I wait a couple of minutes and now that I got this, I like this little grill pan right here, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just put this one right here. You know what I mean? And we'll just do the same. Okay, so 
I didn't really say about the time, right? I just like to go with the thickness like this. I just only think we only need two minutes, right? So I'm gonna take it, flip it over, and look at that right there. Okay, so it's been another two minutes, you know, on this side. Let's go ahead and flip one of these over. You know what I mean? So we can just go ahead and take a look at them so you guys can see how they turn out. Listen, after two minutes, this is what you come up with, right? Remember, we preheated our oven, right? So now we're getting ready to go into the oven. We already at 375 degrees. I'm gonna put it in and look, it, it's up to you how long you put them in there. I'm gonna go about 10 minutes and I'm gonna check my internal temp. It's up to you, however you want them. You want them medium rare, however you want to do them. I'm getting ready to cook mine the way I like them, and I'll tell you how that is in just one second. Now, earlier I said about 10 minutes. That's for those of you guys that really like your meat well done, right? For me, I say 145. Don't forget, these are steel chops. You know what I mean? So we'll take them out. I'll just set them right here for right now. Then I'll just go ahead and stick these in like this just to see where we at, you know what I mean? So. 150, that's a little bit more than I like. I know it's gonna rise a little bit more, but look, they all different size. These smaller ones, some of them get done a little bit more, but look, that's 145. Now the key is we gotta let it rest. As you can see, look, I can even touch this. I let this rest for about seven minutes. Hey, if you guys get a chance, man, get just one of these aluminum, I call them the grill pan. You know what I mean? This right here is a oven safe up to like 425 degrees. I just like it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one right here because it got my name on it, right? I, like I said, I let it go ahead and rest in the inside of the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it right here. I gotta get around that bone, you know? So let's do it like this, just so you guys can see it. And there it is right there. Look at that, that's perfectly cooked for myself. I don't know the correct word to say what it is, folks, but I gotta tell you this, that is not blood. A lot of people say that they don't wanna eat uh, no red meat, but this right here is a good, look at that. Mm. I can barely talk. Hey, I'm not finna over talk it. Cheers, folks. <laughs> These right here is fire. Mm. Now hold on. Hey, check it out. Look right here. This is no exaggeration. I will show you the trash, but the trash was full. It had nothing but bones on the top. So we already took that out. You can see, look, the residue here, everybody else just picked it up and just started eating. Let's talk about the olive oil. The olive oil is fire. When you start with like premium products, you know what I mean? Uh, this is why we, we talk about leveling up, right? It's so many applications you guys can use about, you know, using uh, infused olive oils. They got so many brands. Again, look down in the description box below. You guys can look in the number one comment. I'll have all of that pinned so you guys can uh, take a look at that. Don't forget about Grilling TV Network. All you gotta do is search that on YouTube. And this right here was fire. And not to mention that, you know what, Easter's coming. But I'm gonna say this too, and I probably should have said this and led with this. I like the lamb, the loin lamb chop better than I like the, you know, traditional chop that we all used to seeing, you know, with the bone hanging on the top. That one to me tastes a little bit more on the gamey side, but when you make them like this and along with that marinade, mm, hands down. I'm gonna just say this, if you know you're gonna be cooking these and you're gonna be making them for the, you're gonna be doing them for, uh, I'm gonna say Easter, why don't you go ahead and do yourself a flavor and infuse that olive oil and all of that marinade in there and do it overnight. They'll come out fire. Now, with that being said, I want to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I leave all of my videos. Peace.